I'm going to show you how to make homemade lemon gumdrops or whatever flavor of gumdrops you like to make. I found this one in Taste of Home magazine. Starting off in a large saucepan, place one cup of sugar and one cup of light corn syrup. This is also called liquid glucose. Turn your heat on to medium high. Start heating the mixture while you're stirring constantly. Once the mixture comes to a boil, continue to cook it on medium high until when you stick a candy thermometer in the mixture, it reaches 280 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a soft crack stage. And then you're going to take it off the heat. In a second saucepan, place three quarters of a cup of water and one and three quarter ounces of fruit pectin powder or fruit pectin crystals. Now at our grocery store, they come in 57 gram packages, which is a little bit more than one and three quarter ounces. So I figured it out and it's about four and a half tablespoons of fruit pectin powder. And then add half a teaspoon of baking soda. Now stir that together over high heat until it starts to boil and cook it for two minutes. Then take it off of the heat. Now the next part is you're going to take that corn syrup sugar mixture and you're going to pour it into your fruit pectin water mixture but you're going to do it very slowly so drizzle the sugar and corn syrup mixture into the water and pectin mixture drizzle it in slowly and stir constantly until it's completely combined and once it's completely combined you can turn the heat back on and you're going to cook it and bring it to a boil and cook it for an additional minute. Take it off the heat completely and add your flavoring it is one and a half teaspoons of lemon extract. You could use whatever kind of flavoring you want. And I also added a teaspoon of grated lemon peel and stir that around until combined. And you can also add a couple of drops of whatever food coloring you'd like. I added a little bit of yellow just to deepen the color yellow a little bit. And then you're gonna pour it into a nine by five loaf pan that's been lined with aluminum foil and the aluminum foil has been greased with cooking spray or with butter. And then let it cool completely and it will set. It takes two, three hours for that to happen. Once it's set and it's cooled completely, take it out of the pan and then you're gonna slice it up. Now this was a bit of a challenge because even after I greased the foil, um, it was quite sticky. It's extremely gummy and extremely sticky, as you can see here. And I realized that cutting this on the foil was just not going to do it at all. It wasn't going to do the job. So I had to figure something else out. So once you cut your little pieces, you just roll them in a little bit of sugar and put them on a plate and they're ready to serve. Uh, the reason you roll them in sugar, it just makes them so they're not so sticky to pick up. So what I decided to do would probably be a better option was I removed the entire thing from the foil and then I coated it with a little bit of white granulated sugar on both sides and it just made it a lot easier to handle when it already had that little coating of sugar on it. Just like the gumdrops you buy at the grocery store, they also have a coating on them. And I also sprayed my knife with a little bit of cooking spray which made it a little bit easier to handle when I was cutting the pieces. So I sliced it all in long strips and then I cut it again into little cubes or little gumdrop shapes and you can see it's a lot easier to handle it's not quite as sticky and you can store them at room temperature in a sealed container and there they are I really enjoyed these gumdrops actually the texture is a bit softer and maybe a little gummier than the ones you buy at the grocery store but they taste remarkably like the ones that are commercially made I was actually pretty impressed by them the Flavor is excellent. It has a very strong, these ones had a very strong lemony citrus flavor is what I was looking for, but it would be fun to try different flavors like cherry or peppermint or orange or all sorts of different kinds of ways of making these. Max, uh, he, he's not much of a lemon flavor fan, so he really didn't like these very much, but my husband thought that these were great and he is probably gonna the one that's gonna finish them off. The whole recipe made about 50, half inch size gumdrop cubes. So there you go, homemade gumdrops, give them a try.